Welcome Aquarius to your in-depth weekly forecast for week commencing the 4th of December for the Sun or the Ascendant. Venus moves into Scorpio on Monday, which for you is its most prominent position in your solar chart. Venus in the 10th house is terrific for building influential links, even at this late point in the year, if you're trying to develop your business, apply for a job, do a presentation, improve your relationships in a, an organization you're already in. Venus is linked to your traditional ruler of Saturn by Tuesday through to the end of the week. Suggests a mixture of your guile, your uh, solid approach, Saturn in the second house, particularly to finances and your self-worth, but also your ability to use the degree of charm and diplomacy and an understanding of what's expected of you, that combination can be sensational. Also, the position of the Sun and Mars in your 11th house is very social. Uh, but on Tuesday, there is a quarter moon, the 8th house of Virgo, which can be a little bit critical, angling to the 11th of the Sun and Mars. This suggests that around a, a romantic tie, it, it is possible that uh, a partner could resent your friendships. Aquarius people tend to be professionals at friendship, I feel, um, and take this part of life extremely seriously. Then again, it could be that within your friendship group, there's some politics developing, or perhaps you're finding out that maybe some people aren't quite as straight dealing as you would like. So just be aware of that. But also on Wednesday, Neptune, which has been a very draining influence for the last 22 and a half weeks in its retrograde around resources, has probably meant that at times it's felt that um, however hard you've tried, it's been difficult to really get a foundation point in, in your situation, partly because of the new, more restrictive energies of Saturn since March the 7th. But Neptune's been making you very very philanthropic uh, since 2012. You know, if you have been able to help people, you've probably been going that extra mile to do so. But I feel Saturn coming in is asking you to be more businesslike, uh, a bit more steely about protecting your situation. And if things have been difficult, as they have for many people, Neptune in retrograde may have just felt draining if it's constant battle to try and reinforce your financial picture. But that going forwards obviously helps this week. But then Mercury in your 12th house, which can see us having very private and psychological thoughts, links very well to Jupiter in the 4th. And don't underestimate your ability to... Uh, drill down into situations and see the value in a slightly different way to other people. Jupiter in the fourth house can be good for a property matter. It could be that you're just taking soundings and doing some research about some things that you want to do future forwards. But by Friday, the Sun forges an amazing link with Chiron. Now, Chiron's a very complex uh, comet um, that is said to be the wounded healer in Aries. For you, that's very much about how you think and communicate on an everyday basis. But somehow or another, someone's going to really appreciate your ideas. And because they're both in fire signs, the passion with which you express those ideas can just seem to hit a sweet spot with the person you're talking to. And remember, with Venus now in your 10th house, if you do need to build trust and an alliance with someone in a professional situation or take a personal close romantic relationship to the next level of commitment, then all of these energies this week are really helping you to be uh, very progressive. Just be aware of that quarter moon really. I feel that the quarter moon in the eighth, longer term money, uh, clashes a little bit with your more idealistic side of your nature. So just keep that in mind because with Saturn in the second house, forging that terrific link to Venus, as long as you can keep it real, there's still plenty of potential for moving forwards in a positive way. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've yet to order your year 2024 personal forecast, ascending above this zodiac broadcast, 
These charts are based on your unique birth data, totally individual to you. And if you order now, you can get the rest of this year free, but also uh, the rest of year 2024, plus 30% off with my special offer and your character analysis, your life roadmap, which will give you intimate understanding of the patterns that have played out in your life so far. And also you'll get free your zodiac forecast for all 12 signs for next year, your Indian forecast for all 12 signs, and your Chinese forecast for all 12 signs. Please see below for more. Thank you.